Hi, I'm Rob Moyer, CEO and promoter here at Rexarc. This may be the most valuable video we've produced for acetylene plants because we've reviewed over 25 years of plant audit reports and identified the top five issues that we've experienced over that period. It seems that regardless of the plant, at least one and more often than not multiple issues reviewed here are present. Paying attention to these five points will not only ensure your plant is efficient, they will also save your operations a lot of efficiency issues, downtime, and even potential incidents. So let's get into the countdown. So number five, pawl rings becoming stuck together in the ammonia scrubber. This happens from not using good quality clean water in the ammonia scrubber on a regular basis. What happens is that calcium and lime from the water used builds up on the surfaces of the pawl rings and over time will eliminate the effectiveness of their design, which is to break up the acetylene stream into small bubbles to create more surface area, thereby allowing more ammonia to be absorbed. We recommend cleaning the pawl rings every year with apple cider vinegar, but knowing that you probably won't, be sure to check the status of the pawl rings when your plan is down for the generator clean out and just replace them when they start to get caked up with lime. If you don't maintain the pawl rings, they will eventually develop a solid mass and essentially eliminate the benefit of the ammonia scrubber altogether. If it's been a while and you open your ammonia scrubber to discover you can't remove the old Paul ring, here's the solution. Find a commercial food distributor and buy apple cider vinegar in bulk, like a lot of it. Pour the vinegar into your ammonia scrubber and let it slowly dissolve the accumulated calcium and lime from the pawl rings so that you can remove and replace them. If you're in the United States, there's a product called uh, CLR. This is short for calcium lime and rust remover. It's commonly used to remove residue from household faucets and shower fixtures. This is a much more expensive option, but you will save some time in doing so. Again, if you find that the pawl rings have turned into a solid mass, save yourself time and effort by using either apple cider vinegar or CLR just long enough to allow you to get the old ones out. Number four, oil levels in the agitator shaft drive box and screw feed reducers. These are recommended to be checked monthly. You can do this by verifying that there is oil present in the number two port of the agitator drive box. We recommend checking this monthly, but regardless of how often you actually do, the importance of doing so is that there are a lot of older plants still in service and there have been multiple versions of these drive boxes used over time. Rexarc does not readily stock the very various versions of this item. If your agitator drive box goes out, your plan is down and that is not good. To keep the agitator drive box in the best condition you can, verify there's oil present at port level two regularly. On an annual basis, drain all the oil from port three and refill the level to port two through port one. For the screw feed gear reducer, follow these same recommendations. All right, number three, corrosion around the base of vessels. This is most often an issue around the base of the cooler condenser, ammonia scrubber, and medium pressure dryer at plants where vessels are not skidded. This happens because over time, water, lime, and calcium chloride accumulate around the base of these carbon steel vessels and cause corrosion. Over time, you lose service life, and if not addressed, could cause the vessels to rust through, resulting in an acetylene leak. That's not good! If you have a plant where the vessels are not skidded, Rexarc now offers mounting bases that fit on the bottom of the cooler condenser and ammonia scrubber that raise them off the floor. When installing the bases, make sure that the corrosion is removed and the areas are repainted. This simple addition allows water to move away from the vessel as well as enabling air flow to improve evaporation of any accumulated water around those bases. This is an easy fix and can add years of service life to these vessels. All right, number two, bad anode rods in your compressor. There are four anode rods in most compressors. These help prevent electrolysis and corrosion that will naturally occur in the compressor tank during operation. Compared to the cost of compressor replacement, these are cheap and easy to maintain. Unfortunately, we find that most companies don't do this. In fact, here's what we often find the condition to be during an audit. This anode rod is completely down to the metal core and is ineffective. Here's what they look like new. The recommendation 
is that you replace the anode rods when they have expended 75% of their usefulness. This is a standard product that is stocked at Rexarc and by maintaining the anode rods in your compressor, you're going to add many years of service life to your unit. Number one, kinked or damaged cylinder leads on the charging manifolds. Folks, I cannot stress the importance of this issue more. You have to stay on top of this. Failing to do so creates the highest risk of incident because this issue is on the high pressure side of the plant. In this image, you can see four common examples of kinked and damaged cylinder leads. In the image, number one and two are damaged from being caught between cylinders as they are being rolled into place for connection. In the image, number three and four are kinked. There are a variety of reasons for this, but often this occurs from operators not taking their time during the connection process. When pigtails are kinked, if the stainless steel braiding were to be removed, you would find many cracks in the Teflon inner liner. Most plants have been found to have an excess of 50 damaged leads during our audit. You can purchase these from a variety of manufacturers for a wide range of prices. However, you will also spend a considerable amount of downtime maintaining this style of lead. Over time, this is very costly to your operations and failing to maintain these in your plant is an extreme risk to your operators and equipment. Rexarc now offers a product that is far superior to the traditional stainless steel braided Teflon core cylinder lead by partnering with LifeGuard to bring you an ISO 14113 cylinder lead that is not only much more durable, it provides an automatic flow shutoff in the extreme case that a cylinder lead ruptures. These are not the cheap economy line hose that a lot of buyers will purchase for their plant. They are actually about four times as expensive, but operators will not only save a lot of time by not having to replace damaged leads on a regular basis, you will be drastically improving the safety of the operations in a very critical area. So there you have it. The top five most common issues that we see in acetylene plants. Paying attention to and being proactive in tending to these not only improves the efficiency of operations and service life of your equipment, you will improve the safety of your plant, improve protection of your most valuable asset, your people. If you found this video to be helpful, be sure to like, reshare, and recommend to others at your company. Rexarc, saving you time and money through innovation. Thanks for watching.